Here we go in the character select. Who is he going to pick? Is it going to be Warlock? It's going to be Warlock! Yes! <laughs> I guess you. I guess one of us has to get excited about seeing Quan. Look, I have been waiting so long to see Warlock chat, in tournament. Chat, raise your P&D realms if, you're, if you share Ketchup's enthusiasm. The 60 people in chat that might be subbed, give us some P&D realms right now. Man, I'm excited for this. Go on. Okay. Give him the business kick. Well, we, we know this is going to be an aggressive game for sure. Oh, starts Ooh. with a jump kick. He tried to challenge Mitsuoin's jump kick teleport with his own. Didn't work out though. Oh, oh no. Gets hit by an NJP on his own wake up. What was he trying to do there? Here comes, here comes Mitsuoin's pressure. Starts off strong. Go for the restand. Go for the throw. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Back three low minion. Mitsuoin's the Mitsuoin special. Does Nobody drop the drops. combo. 15% drop, that's just not going to cut it. There's an unsafe string, oh, finish no. it off. He had the meter to make it safe. Oh my, what, no punish. This is a scramble if I've ever seen one. That's good, that, that's the round, that's, that's the round, that's the round. Oh no, oh, no. Mitsuo Wounds breaks. I mean, to be fair, break, don't even give them momentum and just win the round. He's still got a bar. I mean, it wasn't a horrendous break. To be fair, we saw that a lot from Mitsuo Wounds in season one, was as soon as you got momentum back on him by hitting him, it was going to be, oh wow, cancel the teleport to keep himself safe. I like it. We have seen, oh, Ooh. there's the instant NJP, a really nice read. I like that. I like the other uh, one into four. And he's going to go jump in. And there we go. Oh, I'm not sure what was the, the uh, idea there, but okay, he's going to get the overhead. Yeah, nice 29% damage. Oh, wake up, teleport, but cancels it. Oh, another NJP, uh, I think. Oh, we got the combo. Just figuring out these jump kick attempts. I mean, Blitzkurs, he's going for some... Oh, no attempt on the punish. Oh, Interesting. Oh, raw meatless scoop as well. Well, it's kind of like, almost like the Inferno Scorpion. The mix-up that isn't a mix-up, because uh, back two so into low scoop trees. is overhead low. So, it's kind of hard to cast it. I mean, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a bit of a, a strange match. Blitzkurs, there's, there's, there there's the 4-3. There's the punish. Oh, Air Skull. No confirm. Could have turned that into a teleport and then a spear, but Mr. Wines wasn't quite ready for it. Oh, no! no! Yeah, that's the one thing about the business kick. It has tiny range. So it's. Uh, well, no, to be fair, if your opponent's right in front of you, you may as well actually kick him. Why bother with the portals? And there's the business kick. Gets it again. Oh, instant NJP. Wow. Ever so slightly beating it. I mean, Blitzkurs is going for some really interesting conversions here. He's kind of doing two Mitsu owns with Quan, what Mitsu owns does with Scorpion. Oh, no, fuzzy guarding on that, but oh, Blitzkurs tries back go. too. And he gets the overhead. Rare verge of the sky drop actually working. Oh, no 50 50, just goes to the. Wow, then the back two trance. Blitzkurs, he's not taking the 50 50s every time. He's kind of going for this. Uh, I mean, I don't exactly know the frame data on the standing four unblocked, so I'm not sure if it guarantees anything, but unfortunately, another drop will give Mitsu owns his, uh, his pressure. <laughs> he's approaching a breaker, but will he choose to use it, or is he going to take the next 50 50? The or thing is, at least the mix up. The thing is, that combo that Blitzkurs went for, he could have gone for the meter burn portal stab and guaranteed pressure off it. <gasps> no, Mitsu owns dropped. Oh, wake up, NJP. We haven't seen a single meter burn scoop. Loads of NJPs. Some really interesting defensive options here from Blitzkurs. Now, unfortunately, he's spent all his bar. Oh, on the low crush. Here comes Mitsu owns. He's got to be so careful. No, mistimes his jump over, but does nothing on landing. This, what? I, let, I, let's just let this fatality play out and then we'll, we'll think about that. Just for a second. There you go. Da -da, da -da. It's not green though. No, it's close. Right, so that was um, a weird game one, I think. A lot of... Um, it, it, it was a, it was a razzle-dazzle. So it was, was a bit... A mishmash. It's probably what we'll call a... We'll call that one a scramble. We'll call yeah. it a scramble. Um, <laughs> right, so let's break it down real quick. Blitzkurs, if, if if we can, let's try. Blitzkurs is un clearly understanding of the character. However, we didn't really see much warlock shenanigans beside forward three a couple of times, but we didn't really see him consistently punish anything with forward three. We didn't see we enough. Didn't see him. We didn't really see enough. We saw no meter burn scoops at all. Um, and in those situations, actually, in that last round where Blitzkurst landed uh, a combo, which he could have done meter burn portal stab and gone for the 50-50. If he got it, he would have won. But he, he's going for some really interesting combo conversion. It's quite um, bizarre to see. But, but it's definitely getting him less damage. Than yeah, that, that's what I was about to say. He's getting less damage than he could be getting. And there we go. There's Mitsuwans with the bait. But Blitzkurst going for the instant initial jump punch. Oh, getting hit by all those. And there's the forward three. That's, that stops Scorpion from going for the full screen minions. Yeah, the, 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 the long range minion game is just non existent against one. Oh, no, no. The double low Back again. three low minion again. I mean, we say this a lot, but unfortunately, another drop. But we say this oh, a lot. No punish. The back three low minion. What? Once the back three is blocked, that's not a mix up. Did you just see the forward three? The minion made the forward three whip. I'm not under I don't understand these conversions. Blitzgurst going some sort of uh, interesting combos. I'm not I'm not really sure what Blitzgurst is trying to do. He's doing a lot of things that just he could be going for better options in pretty much every situation here. He seems very he seems very afraid to just block. And you can fuzzy guard Scorpion. You just sit there and block a lot of the time and then you've got your forward three. And there's a wake up NJP again. 
Bitter Wounds needs to start scouting that. And oh, oh, there charge. we go. I mean, that, that's a read and a half. That's a read and a half. But he's going to get good damage here. NJP, 4, 1, 4. Head grab. There we go. That's the Warlock damage. Good damage, 30%. And then that's, that's kind of the mix-up that's not a mix-up, the 1-2. Oh, no. Unfortunately, you're going to get tagged. Here comes Mr. Wounds. Going to land his combo this time. We saw a couple of drops which have cost him the Vortex, but he's going to get it. There we go. Good block. No but punish. No punish on a spear. Oh, but no. no. Did he get straight into the trance? That one's going to hurt him because he's forced to break to keep himself in the game. <laughs> Two bars. Oh, he tried to jump after a down four and hit. Interesting play, but a meterless Quan Chi is just nowhere near as, uh, as intimidating. You just have to worry about the reversal. Again, it becomes variationless Quan. Ouch. I really think we're probably going to see Blitzgirls go for uh, so, uh, maybe, probably not a character change. I would kind of expect a summoner pick. But to be honest, I mean. The reality is, um, Blitz is just going for some really questionable decisions. His combos don't seem particularly optimized. I mean, a lot of the stuff that you would use Warlock for, we're not really see we're not really seeing it be enforced at all. If if at all. Well, that's what I mean. Like if if you've got a summoner in this situation, I'd bring out the summoner. Because the minions aren't aren't stopping Mitsuwons from doing what he wants to do. Yeah, the, 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 the reason Warlock should in theory shut down Inferno isn't really applying here, so I would recommend a summoner change. Personally. If, if, if he's got a summoner, that is. I know he's played him before. I've heard but... he plays summoner. I mean, it would make sense. I mean, if you're going to play Quan, it would, I, it would make sense to at least know how to play summoner. But it looks like Blitz is, is going to be going for Warlock again. My advice to him right now would be, remember the reason you're picking Warlock and do that. You know what I mean? I know it's easier said than done, but Warlock really does do well versus Inferno, I find. And, you know, you just need to go for the right optimized damage, the right stuff at the right time, just to shut down what you know Mitsuhint is trying to do. Okay, so, he goes for a raw jump in. Um, wow, I mean, he got the 50-50. He's going, the 20% reset. So I, I I assume he's going for the jump in into the standing four. Um, I assume he's going for that to try and get uh, plus frames on it. But there's, again, there's no real reason to. Just take the damage. And there's the punish. Oh, no, oh, he the, the NJP. That's a heartbreaker right there. That's a lot of damage missed out. Oh, and he tries to add the end NJP. You can't really do it because he moves forward. Oh, and he confirms it. I mean, there's some really interesting stuff. It's working out for him, but... It's very unconventional play. And right there, that is why forward three works. I want to see more of those. Oh no, hit by a full screen low minion. Here comes Mitsuwones. This will be a restart. I'm not quite sure exactly what the mix up's going to be because we know he was walking into the forward four. But oh, no, he has a back three. He's been hit by that almost 100%. The standing one into the back three, he's been hit by that almost every time. Oh, and I think he was just trying to fuzzy guard the mix up. Oh, and there we go. Match point. Mitsuwones. Blitzkurs really just kind of needs to. Uh, just tying up his game. Fight. Looks like we might see another 3-0 at this rate. I mean, to my, oh, match oh. point to Mitsu Wounds, but there's that down three, but no confirm. That was interesting. 15% not bad, but back two. No trance, though. And there we go. I'm not sure if that was a hit confirm, but it was a good good damage. Mitsu Wounds goes for the break. Oh! I've never seen so many raw sky drops land as much as I've seen in this set. Run into the low! Cheeky stuff. And there we go. Here comes the damage. I assume that's going to be a forward 2-1-2-2. Two, two, two. No. And again, there's the reset. I'm not sure I agree with that. I mean, it's just, just take, not, take the just, damage. Again, it, I mean, it's I, not max damage. I would really think just take the damage, go full screen, and put him full screen, and then go for the forward three. That will do, you know? He has to make this one count. He's going to take it. There we go. There we go. Blitzkurst. He is on life support right now. Let's not deny it. I mean, well, still it's no working. bar. That's the thing. No bar, no meter, no uh, option for the reversal. Oh, oh wow. So, dude, he's like four for four on sky drops right now. I've never seen it. Why don't mine ever hit like that? Wake up NJP again, a very, very popular go-to tool for a Quan because the speed, but I don't know, 22% on a reset though, I just don't know. Oh, price down one, there's the Ant here. Here comes the damage. There's oh. the break. It's a Wounds special. Oh no! Oh, Mitz Wounds, he's waiting for that sky drop. You know he was waiting for that one. He's gonna have to definitely, he's going to have to get right on these reads, otherwise he is just going to lose the set. Catches the back three. Oh, blocks the double. There we go. Time. He gets the block. He could have gone for a full combo, but I think he doesn't want to drop the NJP potentially. And there we go. Nice. Oh, not quite enough. That's, oh, wow. that's it. There we go. There we go. I like that conversion. I like that 31% meterless. It, it's good stuff. I mean, like, the interesting thing here is we normally see, when we actually do see Warlock, 
we see a lot of Quan Chi players end their combos in either 1 4 1 because it gives you two guaranteed head grabs to build meter, or we see uh, something like a 4 2 1 2 2 run in 1 4 head grab because basically what you're doing is you're taking the same damage that Blitz is getting, but the opponent's getting set in full screen so that Quan Chi can start the counter zoning, the skull into forward three, basically just constantly keeping them full screen. Blitz seems to be massively r like preferring the option to keep the opponent close. He's ending everything in scoop because it keeps them at that optimal range. I mean, there was a change where the scoop used to always do an unscaled 5% chunk, even at the end of a long combo. Um, now it still does good damage and more damage by itself, but does less damage when scaled so in combos. So it, it scales heavier, but you get more upfront damage the earlier you use it, really. Scoop is also a hard knockdown now. That's good. It does give him a hard knockdown. It's Orange going straight back into the Inferno. Oh, oh no, no. he tries to anti-air, but does it ever so slightly just too late. Gets tagged by the back three, and this could be the start of Mitsuwens. And he drops the jump kick. Very unfortunate. Oh, oh. Into wake up NJP. Oh, we, we are seeing a lot of stuff work that normally doesn't work. Well, flat out, we need to see tight execution across the board here, because there are too many drops oh, on this he, level in the He drops the back two, just as you say, he drops the back two into low scoop. And he tries to, and there's the problem. He's going to eat those jump kicks because he's trying to jump out of a down four and hit. That you're going to get eaten by that jump kick all day. I like how Mitsuwens opts to stagger Ooh. with the standing one now. It's a good option. I mean, it just kind of leaves them in a situation where they have to guess, but it just gives you just something else they have to respect. Sometimes you might not go for it, but just like that, match point Mitsuwens. I was a very quick round. I mean, no bar for Mitsuwens, but now we see Blitzkurs with two. That's all he needs. I mean, oh, no. we're really seeing uh, Blitzkurs opt op to use the bar for the uh, the guaranteed 50-50. And there we go. Either. Yeah, that's, that's what I was about to say. We haven't seen a single one. I mean, it's not actually going to be the reason you pick Warlock. But again, he's going for 23% into the reset. He's not hit confirming back 3-2. Very unfortunate. Back 3-2 is unsafe, but nowhere near as unsafe as back 3-2-4. Uh, you need to be hit confirming that. Oh, the stance change? What? All right. Snap. Get out of my head. All right. Oh. But no, Opster, use the stance change oh. to maybe make the mix-up a bit harder to block, I suppose. I think there's too many comp- oh, And there's the low, the low crush! There's an anti-air standing too. There we go! Here we go! Right, Blitzgurst. Try and build the bar. Do everything you can. Go for it. Yep, one full head grab. He's gonna do something. Watch out! The trade. Oh no! no. Catch his jump kick! He's not gonna have a breaker! This will be the game unless Metawarins makes another drop! And it doesn't look like he's going to. Oh, and he goes for the deliberate brutality. Can we, can That's we... a fantastic finish from Mitsuwens. Well, I was going to say, like, you know, spoiler alert to anyone who's not played story mode, but it's been eight months, so I'm assuming you guys have had to. But that stage, Scorpion took Quan Chi's head off. And uh, he did it again.